welcome to today's video. I just wanted to update you guys on the storm last night. It's still crazy we windy. We lived. That's what Sophie said. We lived. So we're headed out to see our boys and last night they were saying that we were going to get a tornado and we did get a tornado or at least I think we did. Um, the, we didn't come to our house though. Yeah, so it missed us and went to where like my sister lives instead. <laughs> So they're not calling it a tornado yet. People posted pictures of like funnel clouds that they saw and I just, I don't know like the process of what they do to claim, to decide if it was a tornado or not. Uh, it hasn't been confirmed that it was a tornado yet, but man, it sure looked like it was a tornado from all the pictures that people showed. They showed like down trees, down buildings, and all the people in the city that it hit were all outside helping each other clearing trees there's a truck driving around with chainsaw and two guys in it and they were helping people clear trees like such a beautiful thing to see in an aftermath like that so i don't know for sure if it was a tornado it seems like it was we didn't get hit our horses didn't get hit so our horses are all safe and we're all safe and i pray for anybody who was struggling and scared in that storm it was a really scary storm uh, sam and i were editing and we're like hurry up let's get this done before we lose power um actually in the city that it happened they still don't have power it's been 18 hours people are freaking out like oh, these tornadoes gotta stop man yeah all right second let's go tornado of the year. second already and it's only june uh we're headed out and canada normally never gets tornadoes yeah canada never gets tornadoes that's something in my eye uh, uh, if there's another tornado warning we are leaving yeah if there's another tornado that's it we're moving <laughs> anyway let's go check on our boys and see what's happening uh with the with the day by day boys we'll see you guys when we get there we just got to the barn chance and chino are hanging out for a second, I thought they jumped the fence. Chance jumped the fence. So basically, at the water trough together, and they had were like across the fence from each other. And Rex right there. So, oh, there's a pony trying there's to eat pony. me. Hi, pony. Oh, and Rhett is there too. Rhett and Chance are best friends. Hi. Hello, handsome man. Your girl's coming. Are you gonna come with me all the She's coming. There? So basically, they're- there, there are three chestnuts in the field yeah. and they're far from where Sophie has to get Chance so hopefully he comes. Chance is down there and Sophie's down there but also down there is the horse that Sophie's scared of. So we'll see what happens. Update. The horse that Sophie's afraid of is between her and her horse and her horse is hanging out in the water truck with all the other horses so Sophie's too scared to get him. All right, I think they're coming. The mean horse is with me. They're not coming. Heck, <laughs> man. Oh, man. So, Gabby's going to get Chance for Sophie. Because we are a family and we help each other. They were all, like, around the water trough. And it's, like, a really narrow area. So, it's a bit nerve-wracking to go down there and get him. He let Gabby catch him? Yeah. Oh. So, what's he trying to say? <laughs> well, that's a problem then. We got to fix that. Yeah, good. <laughs> what else that you're going to do? All right, so anyways, we're in the process now of trying Chance with a different kind of saddle. One that has like a higher wither and we had this one at home. We're going to try it. Brandon also has one. And we're so lucky to be at a school where they have like a lot of saddles and we can try them. The only problem is that the one that is here or the two uh, that would fit chance which are like the kind right kind of fit are the smaller ones and they're not going to fit sophie so typically the bigger ones like this one for denver is so big and it's big enough for sophie but not for chance so uh, brandon has one at home and he's going to bring it i just got to remind him uh <laughs> the ones that do fit you don't fit Ch chance. This one is the only one that's good. Yeah. Not and it has like a really low, low, low wither clearance for sure. That's why, because it's Denver's. <laughs> Hi! You're supposed to be lunging. Horses are so hard, you guys. Horses are so hard. 
Like you have to pretty much have, you pretty much have to have like no other life. No other life. Yeah, he's staying out. He's moving nice. It is a flat day for Chino Bambino. I know I don't pro I don't post every single ride that we have. So I just want to tell you guys it's a flat day for Chino. And then a flat day for Grayfin too. Are you ready? Yeah. And a flat day for Chance too. Maybe. So he's like, I'm so hot. So we're gonna try saddle today on Chance. So we're we're like going so slow, you guys. Like uh, we got his feet fixed. His weight is coming up. So yeah, I have to hurry up because so, I have to catch him. And so far he has been more energetic and more fun and more happy and still good under saddle. Still good all the time. Like he's easy. He does like run from Sophie sometimes because there's a mare that he loves and sometimes he doesn't want to leave the field. And like he's not perfect, that's for sure. And I hope it works out. If it doesn't, it's okay. Sophie's having an amazing time and every horse teaches you a lesson and tells a story and, and having the opportunity to spend any amount of time. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? He's eating my coat. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Chino eats every. We are up and we are at it and we are ready to ride. Flat day. Maybe I should call the video this. Flat day. Flat days are my favorite days. We mostly flat when we're alone. And then when we ride in lessons, we have like a long flat in the beginning and then we jump at the end for a few minutes. So, I don't know about the saddle. I feel like his wither has more clearance. But he's definitely feeling a lot more fresh, a lot more full of himself, a lot more energetic. And I think it was the shoes more than the food. But things are still going well. Yes, it's a shadow, Finn. It, it was your own shadow. It was your shadow. See, he's pretty at everything. Yeah, whoa. So Gabby hasn't been riding him as much. She's finding it a struggle to like keep two horses in shape for show at show season. In the winter, it was a lot better. Last winter, she flatted Chino almost all the time. Like she hardly jumped him last winter. You need to put your head down? Good boy, yeah. Good boy. So, it's definitely like harder for her to keep up with two horses. So, just like a lot of walk trot, like I told you guys, Sophie does a lot of walk trot with her boy. She's working on him listening to her leg. So, I'm gonna get Brandon to check the saddle just to make sure, but he also has another one he's gonna bring and we're gonna try. Like I said as well, there's a saddle fitter at this barn now. I haven't seen her. Yeah. The only problem with that is that. Oh, not like here. Uh, oh, well, we can go outside. Anyway, the problem with buying him a saddle is that, like, we have no idea if this is the right horse for us. Like. Yeah, and you haven't been riding him for a while, so he's back to that. So, I mean, he has to have a saddle that he likes to ride in. So if we can find one that fits him and he does okay in and that is, is moderately okay for Sophie, keeps her in a good position, then we'll use it. If not, we'll have to just buy one and then have an extra one. Or if we buy a saddle for Chance and Brandon ends up selling him because it doesn't turn out to be workable for us, then um, maybe the people who buy them would buy it. So figure it out. They're playing your cards with your queen of hearts when everyone folds your forge to holes. You're placing your bed, showing no regret. Close your eyes. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fence, letting everyone know that you trespass. That you found a breakdown. Sophie just had her first spook. We just had her first spook, you guys. It happened. Uh, Finn spooked. 
Finn, Gabby dropped her whip. Finn spooked and then Chance spooked. He dropped a tiny bit, scooted two steps forward and then stopped. It slowed right down for her. When I use my witchcraft You're playing it cool Bending all the rules Talking way too loud And you're talking rude You're playing the game Driving me insane Your heart is back And it's a fact No turning back You got me tiptoeing around you Like you made a blast like I can't even get over the difference in this horse like he just looks look at his bum and his leg like he just it's so nice to like see a horse growing I love him I love him he's just such a snuggle bug when he's bored, he chews teeth. yeah when he's bored he chews his teeth yeah, you can hear his teeth scraping our teeth. it actually was really nice being here all afternoon it seemed like at the beginning it seemed like we just couldn't get started like so we couldn't catch a horse and then we had three horses and whenever we're dealing with three horses like whenever gabby has to ride two horses it just seems like it takes forever i brought chino trap chaff isn't that crazy who remembers how much chino likes chaff he loves those little tiny pieces of hay and so i had so much of it i'm trying to clean out the area of our barn where we put our hay because soon we're going to be cutting hay and I wanted to get rid of some of it. And it was either throw it out or bring it for Chino. So I brought it for Chino. Don't you know that you're beautiful?